everybody, happy Friday. Chris McNaughty, your lender for all over Colorado, coming to you with a massive Friday market update. It is massive because so much happened this week and I'm gonna try and recap it in about three minutes. Here we go. Let's start with the Biden State of the Union. So Biden State of the Union, Biden is proposing a $10,000 credit for first time home buyers and also a $10,000 credit for sellers who would sell a starter home. So that's kind of cool, I guess. I'm not sure if it's really gonna help, to be honest. You know, yes, $10,000, of course, would help a first time home buyer, but at the same time, if you're incentivizing more first time home buyers to come into the market by offering $10,000, there's just gonna be more first time home buyers competing against each other, and then that's gonna push prices up. So does it actually benefit them? I, I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to that. Also, you know, as far as incentivizing the seller to seller, seller to sell, <laughs> maybe that does help. I don't know. Um, I think sellers are also would be buyers on the other side. So I don't think it materially moves inventory up, which is really what we need. But maybe it causes a little bit more turnover, which could be a healthy thing for the market. So we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Uh, also, huge employment report comes out this week. So the market was expecting 200,000 jobs created, 275,000 jobs were created. So normally when you see something like that, that would actually cause interest rates to go up, but it didn't this time. And the reason why is because sure enough, they screwed up the last two reports and revised them. So they over reported jobs by 167,000 over the last two months. That's a huge deal. And I've been very critical of the Bureau of Labor Statistics on this channel, and I'm gonna continue to be very critical of them. That's terrible because basically interest rates have been pushed up the last couple months because of their bad reporting of jobs. It's ridiculous. And they do this almost every other month. It's absolutely insane. But anyway, that's a tangent. I'm not gonna go off on it any more than I already have. Last but not least, we have the Federal Reserve. They're coming out to uh, Congress and they're saying they're still tracking for three more interest rate cuts this year. That's really good. I hope they stick with their guns on that. And overall, mortgages have moved down in the last week. We're out of the sevens. We were at seven and an eighth last week. We are now at about 6.8 as of the recording of this video. That's the national average, 20% down, good credit. Of course, we'll have options that beat that national average. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that trend will continue and we'll have the Bureau of Labor Statistics stop screwing up their reporting. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the video, click like. If you have questions about financing home, contact information's below. Happy Friday.